Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul has just been confirmed by Netflix. The fight will be taking place July 20th in Texas, and we have some new training footage coming from both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Let's get straight into it. For 57 years old, Mike Tyson still has some speed and he definitely has some power. Of course, Jake Paul, he's coming off of an impressive victory versus Ryan Bowerland. Stopped him in the first round. You know, a lot of people are counting Mike Tyson out for this fight. They think he's too old. They think Jake Paul, you know, he's in his prime. He's improving year by year. You know, they think Mike Tyson has no chance. And you can, you can see right here, you know, Mike may look a little bit stiff, but his technique is still there. He has power as well. You know, the power is the last thing to go. Of course, Jake Paul will come into this fight with the height advantage, the reach advantage, the youth advantage. I think Jake Paul is only 28 years old. You know, people have talked about this boxing match happening for some time now. The interest was there at one point in time, but I, I didn't think this fight was actually going to happen with Mike Tyson almost being 60 years old. And Netflix just announced this just out of nowhere. All right, coach. See the head movement from Mike, that peekaboo style. Still has great footwork. And I think if he catches Jake on the chin, he could drop Jake, no doubt about it. I know a lot of people don't like Jake Paul, but I will say he's definitely improved as a fighter. He puts the hard work in, and you can, you can definitely see that in his technique. You know, Jake Paul also is receiving a lot of criticism for taking this fight. We know Jake, he is known for fighting, you know, retired guys, older guys. And it looks like he's keeping that trend going. Also, this will be Netflix first live boxing event or combat sport event period please be sure to leave your predictions for this fight in the comment section down below july 20th it is officially going down i was surprised by this fight announcement i'm sure you guys were surprised as well i don't think anyone really saw this coming I think if you're Jake Paul, you try to fight this very smart. Don't let Mike Tyson close the distance. You have the reach advantage. Stay behind your jab and just keep moving. Don't try to stay in toe to toe with Mike Tyson.
So the last time we saw Mike Tyson in the ring was back in 2020 versus Roy Jones Jr. And Jake Paul was also on that card. He made his boxing debut, I'm pretty sure, versus Nate Robinson. Of course, he ended up knocking Nate Robinson out cold. But still, he made his boxing debut on a Mike Tyson card. The card ended up doing, I think, 1.3 million pay-per-view buys. It was probably the biggest pay-per-view of that year. So I think there is some data that shows, you know, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, it does do numbers. Obviously, I think most people bought that to see, you know, Mike Tyson's return to boxing. That was that was his first boxing match in a long time. So I'm not saying Jake Paul was the reason why that pay-per-view was so successful, but still his name was on it. He was marketed, you know, to be on that card as well. And, you know, he kind of became a boxing star after knocking Nate Robinson out. Another thing about Mike Tyson is I've never heard him say anything negative about Logan or Jake Paul. He has spoken very high, highly of them, but I didn't think they were going to fight. You know, people talked about the fight, but it didn't look like it was actually going to happen. And the influencer boxing scene just isn't what it used to be like a year ago or two years ago. And there wasn't any companies like Netflix stepping in and putting the money up, you know, trying to make these boxing matches happen. So it didn't look like this fight was going to happen. And here we are in 2024, Netflix, you know, pretty much surprises everyone one they put the money up and july 20th mike tyson versus jake paul please be sure to leave your prediction for this fight in the comment section down below are you going with jake are you going with mike tyson how do you think this fight is going to play out to give you my official prediction i think jake paul will probably win this fight in decision i think you know he's just the younger guy he's in his prime if you watch his previous fight yes he was fighting a, a plumber or uber driver but jake looked great you can tell he's been working on just his fundamentals his jab looked really good Good. his right hand looked good as well you know Jake has definitely evolved as a fighter and nearly being 60 years old for Mike Tyson I don't see how he could possibly be a I think Jake is 27 or 28 years old I just don't see how Mike Tyson could possibly win this fight or I could see them doing some kind of draw the same way they did with Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. I could see that happening as well but just remember guys, this is an exhibition boxing match. This isn't an official fight. I don't think this will go on Jake Paul's uh, professional boxing record. And I don't think Jake Paul is gonna try to go in there and knock Mike Tyson out. And I don't think Mike Tyson is gonna try to knock Jake Paul out. They're gonna try to give the fans a fun, exciting, somewhat competitive boxing match or a sparring match uh, is probably what will probably end up seeing a glorified sparring match. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and YouTube thinks you'll enjoy this video next.